This is the Pacific Ocean. Here are the Mariana Islands and a huge crescent moon in the water. See? The Mariana Trench itself has a deepest point called Challenger Deep. 10,994 meters or 36,069 feet below sea level, plus or minus a little more. This is just unreal depth. For the first time, the crew of the HMS Challenger sailing ship discovered this place in 1875 and even tried to measure the depth. It didn't work out very well. Technology of that time was incapable. After 76 years, another ship arrived here, which was also called the Challenger. With the help of an echo sounder and improvised means, the team managed to determine the depth of the trench. Then the Challenger Deep got its name. And at the same time, earning the status of the deepest place on the planet. As anywhere, the depth here greatly affects pressure. In the Challenger Abyss, it's more than a thousand times higher than normal pressure at sea level. Here, it's 108.6 megapascals. And where there is serious depth, there's a change in the density of water. Everything is normal on the surface, but then the water becomes 5% denser. And it's quite cold there, from 1 to 4 degrees Celsius, that's about 34 to 39 Fahrenheit. For comparison, the water temperature off the coast of the island of Guam ranges from 27 to 29 degrees Celsius, that's 80 to 84 Fahrenheit. This is a really warm region, but the sun's rays simply can't get through the deep water in the Mariana Trench, so this temperature variation occurs. All of these factors, of course, affect the local inhabitants. Few are ready to live in darkness, cold and under tremendous pressure. But will temperature and pressure affect a steel ball when they, to be honest, aren't so strong? As for temperature, it doesn't play a role at all. 1 to 4 degrees Celsius or 34 to 39 Fahrenheit is nothing, especially for steel. The role of pressure is much more interesting. Pressure can compress a substance so much that it's torn to pieces. A pillar of water in the Mariana Trench will easily crush a person, literally. Just one second is enough. So 15 scary Mariana Trench creatures that you've never seen before. Number 15. Predatory Tunicate Meet the underwater Venus flytrap, the predatory tunicate. If you've ever seen a Venus flytrap catching an insect before, it wouldn't be hard for you to imagine how predatory tunicates catch their meal. These creatures live anchored along the canyon walls and seafloor in the deep ocean and prey on zooplankton and other tiny animals. Luckily, unlike most of the creatures that live in the deep sea, predatory tunicates only grow up to 5 inches across, which means they're limited to preying on small marine creatures and nothing else. Watching them eat their prey is amazing and terrifying at the same time. They just wait there with their mouth-like hoods open and immediately snap them shut when a poor animal drifts inside. Just imagine how terrifying it would be if these creatures grow a lot bigger. Another weird thing about them is that they're simultaneous hermaphrodites, which means they can produce both eggs and sperm. Finding a mate isn't exactly easy when you spend the majority of your life anchored on the seafloor. This physical adaptation helps them to reproduce in poor conditions, or when there are no other tunicates nearby. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Headless Chicken Monster Sea cucumbers are echinoderms closely related to starfish and sea urchins. There are some 1,200 species of them around the world, and the headless chicken monster is the strangest among them. There's a reason why this particular species got its bizarre name. If you observe one of these sea cucumbers while swimming, you'll see that it kind of resembles a headless chicken because of its wing-like fins. I think they look like raw chickens just before you pop them into the oven. But don't get me wrong, despite their comical names, they're seen as amazing sea creatures. In fact, their superhero-like capes that open as they sail through waters earned them a much less embarrassing nickname, the Spanish Dancer. Sea cucumbers only feed on tiny particles like algae and small aquatic animals. 
so the shock factor of the headless chicken monster relies on their freaky appearance alone. These creatures are unique among other sea cucumbers. They don't have the ability to swim upwards. Instead, most of them move around by riding the current. So far, the astonishing creatures have only been spotted several times around the world. We still have a lot more to discover about them, and hopefully we'll get to see more of them in the wild soon. Number 13. Sea Lamprey There are creatures out there that will make you realize that nature really is brutal. Introducing the Sea Lamprey, also known as the Vampire Fish, this eel-like creature doesn't have jaws or other bony structures. Instead, it has a skeleton made of cartilage, which makes this creature unique from other fish. Its weird body isn't really the most terrifying thing about it. Its sucker-like mouth is the product of nightmares. Just take a look at that. And the way this creature eats is equally terrifying. Sea lampreys hunt by draining their prey of blood. First, they attach themselves to their prey by using their suction cup mouth. After that, they'll use their teeth to drill into the flesh of their poor victim. Slowly, the sea lamprey will cut through the fish's scales and drive itself further into its prey's body by using its sharp tongue. Once the lamprey is securely inside the prey's body, they'll secrete an enzyme that prevents blood from clotting and drink the blood of their poor host like a leech. Lampreys can be found in the deep sea, but they're also known to be anadromous, which means they can migrate up to rivers from the sea to spawn. This has caused a problem for a lot of fishermen. In fact, ever since sea lampreys made their way into the Great Lakes, they've been recognized as a parasite and an invasive species that decimate the population of native fish in the fresh water they invade. To this day, lampreys are still considered public enemy number one for many fishermen, because one of them can easily kill about 40 pounds of fish every year. Number 12. Telescope Octopus the telescope octopus is a strange-looking deep-sea animal that lives at depths between 500 and 6,500 feet. They can be found in several regions of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. These elusive creatures have only been seen a few times, and to this day, they're still shrouded with mystery. Just like the see-through glass octopus, the telescope octopus is completely invisible because of their transparent and gelatinous flesh. This means that even if a sliver of light passes through them, their bodies won't produce a shadow. This physical trait helps these creatures that only grow up to 8 inches long to escape any predators lurking in the abyss. The only non-transparent part of their bodies is their digestive gland and their incredibly strange telescope-looking eyes. Through their elongated tubular eyes that pop out of their heads, they get a wide peripheral vision which enables them to see both prey and predators. For now, we have limited knowledge of this rare species, and because of their size and their habitat, it may take us years before we can know more about them. Number 11. Vampire Squid The vampire squid is a deep sea creature that's only about 12 inches long. If it's just the size we're talking about, the vampire squid is no monster. However, its appearance is enough to freak anyone out. Initially mistaken as an octopus because of its arms and lack of tentacles, the vampire squid found itself as a weird combination of a squid and octopus. These guys possess the biggest eyes in proportion to their bodies in the animal kingdom. They also have one of the most menacing cloaks that hide sharp spikes underneath. I guess the vampire squid isn't called the squid of hell for nothing. They might not be bloodsuckers just like their namesake, but the vampire squid might as well be immortal, as they're living relics of an ancient species of octopus that goes back 165 million years in the fossil record. Number 10. Anglerfish I don't think I can ever stress enough why the anglerfish is one of the most terrifying creatures in the ocean. In fact, people who have seen these creatures washed up on the shore don't want to learn anything about them due to their hideous appearance. For one, they look like creatures that came straight out of a nightmare, with their black beady eyes and their gnarly teeth. The most horrifying thing about the anglerfish isn't their appearance, but their eating and mating habits. These creatures are one of the many that take advantage of their bioluminescence to catch their prey. Just like an angler, they use the lure attached to their heads to fish in the abyss. Once prey gets close to them, they can extend their mouths twice their original size to accommodate large prey. And their horrific appetite is just the beginning. The big anglerfish that you see are female ones. They're capable of catching larger prey, and they look far more intimidating. Meanwhile, the male ones are considered parasites. Male anglerfish are notably smaller than females, and they spend their lives constantly searching for a mate. Once they do, they'll attach themselves to the female anglerfish until they fuse together. 
and only the male's reproductive organs remain. What's more, a single female anglerfish can carry up to six males on and in her body. Number 9. Dumbo Octopus Let's take a break from the horrifying deep sea creatures and just bask in the cuteness of the Dumbo Octopus. In fact, these creatures are so adorable that even researchers can't help but coo at their cuteness. They live at extreme depths of up to 13,000 feet where they use their ear-like flaps to swim and move around. And trust me, watching these creatures propel themselves using their Dumbo ear-like flaps is incredibly endearing. However, not all of them are lovely to look at, with some looking a little more creepy than the others. Number 8. Deep Sea Dragonfish With its name, you must be thinking of a cute dragon-like sea creature. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but the deep sea dragonfish is nothing like the fictional dragons we know. These creatures have incredibly hideous faces with blank eyes and jagged needle-like teeth, but there's still a reason why they're named dragons. These fish are the only ones that can generate and see red light. Most creatures in the ocean generate blue light because it can penetrate further into the water. However, having a red light means that deep sea dragonfish can see other fish while remaining unseen. Deep in the water at depths of greater than 600 feet, these creatures can remain invisible while using their unique light-detecting ability to snag their prey. I would say they look pretty cool with their bioluminescence, as long as you don't fish them out of the water. Number 7. Bobbit Worm Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard the irrational fear that something will grab onto your foot and pull you deep into the water while swimming in the middle of the ocean? If your answer is yes, then get ready to relive that fear because I'm about to tell you how the bobbit worm hunts its food. I'm telling you, the bobbit worm is one of the most brutal deep sea creatures. At first glance, the bobbit worm doesn't really look that scary. I mean, it has rainbows on its body, and as long as you ignore its bug-like appearance, they look pretty okay. But don't be fooled, Eunice Aphroditus or the bobbit worm is an extremely dangerous creature that digs itself into the seafloor only exposing a few inches of its body to ambush prey. It uses its five antenna to sense any living creature passing by. Once it does, it will snap its mouth shut around the poor creature, which might also snap the prey in half. But that's not the end of it. After getting chomped by its strong muscled mouth, the bobbit worm will pull its prey down into its burrow. The most horrifying part? The body of this sea creature can grow up to a terrifying 10 feet long, these guys will show no mercy to almost any creature it manages to snag. Number 6. The Fang Tooth Living in the ocean depths between 1,600 and 6,500 feet is the terrifying fang tooth fish. These small creatures don't compare to the giants that roam in the Mariana Trench, but their teeth to body size proportion is insane. How do you think it got its name? The fang tooth fish has long needle-like teeth and an underbite to complete their wicked appearance. This fish will remind you of the equally menacing piranhas in the Amazon. Just like the tiny freshwater carnivorous fish, fangtooth fish are also highly mobile creatures that feed on small marine animals like shrimp and squid. Unlike most creatures in the deep sea that patiently wait to ambush their prey, fangtooth fish are born ready, and instead of waiting, they actively seek out their food. Their large heads and their needle teeth allow them to kill and swallow their entire prey in one fell swoop. They can even eat fish that's one-third their size. Once again, we're lucky that voracious sea creatures just like the fangtooth don't get as big as a shark. Just imagine if these small fish grew up to eight feet or more and adapted to shallow waters. They will surely rule the ocean. Number 5. Frilled Shark Known as a living fossil, the frilled shark is the closest prehistoric creature that lives to this day. These sharks have been around for some 80 million years already which means they've been on Earth at the same time as the mighty dinosaurs. This creature got its name because of the row of six red-lined gills that look like frills on its side. I would say that this creature is less terrifying than great whites as long as they don't open their mouths. Once they do, you'll probably get nightmares from their terrifying set of teeth. Just like the great whites, frilled sharks have 300 teeth, but great whites are a bit more intimidating. Usually, frilled sharks stay more than 2,000 feet below the surface, so we rarely get to see them. In fact, we've only known about their existence in the 19th century when a specimen was captured in Tokyo Bay and was studied by a German ichthyologist. Ever since, we've only seen a few specimens of these creatures so far, and to this day we still know little about them. And now it's time for today's topic. What they captured in Mariana Trench shocked the whole world. 
Before we managed to send underwater ROVs or submersible robots into the Mariana Trench, people have been reporting strange occurrences around the area. The creatures lurking in the depths of the trench have repeatedly frightened many, including researchers. According to deep-sea fishermen that travel in the Pacific, there have been many strange sightings around the Mariana Trench. Some fishermen claim that they've seen a strange red glow underwater, and it frightened many of them so much that they decided to leave the area for another fishing location. There are also reports when these lights become more intense as they drew closer to the fishing boats. And out of the blue, it dimmed down as if whatever creature produced the light descended back into the abyss. So far, scientists have been unable to explain this strange phenomena, but there are some theories. When one underwater remote-operated vehicle descended into the abyss, it captured something pretty terrifying. It captured what seems to be a huge monster, the mythical god Cthulhu. Some claim that the photo is fake, but with all the reports of strange sounds and signals from the ocean, I wouldn't be surprised if such a monster really resides in our ocean. What do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Giant Squid One of the reasons that I have no trouble believing there are actual monsters living in the abyss is because of the existence of giant squid. I would say that these creatures are more terrifying than the others. Who wouldn't be afraid of a creature that has eyes the size of a basketball? This squid ain't your ordinary catch. The largest known squid is named Archichuthis ducks. Despite being a massive creature that can grow up to a staggering 46 feet in length, this big guy can be really camera shy. For reference, just imagine a squid the size of a semi-trailer truck. You'd think that such an enormous creature would have no problem taking on any foreign object they see in their territory. But surprisingly, they seem to always evade underwater ROVs that try to capture photos of them. So far, we've only seen several of them a few times. After all, they live in the deepest part of the ocean, with depths greater than 2,000 feet. Some scientists claim that there are other giant squid out there that are as tall as a four-story building, but so far we have no evidence that they truly exist. Suddenly, all the legends about the enormous kraken make sense. What if the stories of a giant tentacle creature destroying ships and killing sailors in the 18th century actually feature a giant squid? The Horror Number 3. Bone-Eating Worms have you ever wondered what happens to the skeletal remains of dead giant sea creatures? What happens when a giant whale dies? Whenever one of these marine mammals perish, its carcass usually falls down onto the ocean floor and reaches depths greater than 3,300 feet. There in the abyss, the body will slowly decompose and provide food for an entire ecosystem of scary deep sea creatures. These worms are one of them, known as bone devourers or zombie worms. These species of Osidax are the ones that feast on whale skeletons that lie nearly 9,000 feet underwater. There have been times when a huge group of these plant-like creatures was spotted devouring a skeleton, and trust me, seeing them up close isn't a pretty sight. Since these worms are tiny and they resemble underwater plants, researchers found a way to easily find them, lure them with their favorite meal. To study these worms, scientists lower down pieces of animal bones from pigs, turkeys, and cows and wait for a few months to check a whole lot of Osidax eating away the bones. They're not really menacing to look at, unless you know that they feed off of decaying matter. And if you're into diving, you just might be happy to know that you can spot these guys in relatively shallow waters too, with a minimum depth of 30 feet. Who knows? You might have even already encountered them while diving. Number 2. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish The deep sea hatchet fish looks like it's experienced all of the bad things in life. It's a deep sea fish that lives in depths between 650 and 3,000 feet. These creatures are deep bodied and flattened from side to side. They resemble the shape of a hatchet, which earned them their name. They're often confused with their shallow living kin, freshwater hatchet fish. But these guys are more ghastly. With their strange bodies and creepy teeth and eyes, the hatchet fish is among the small creatures in the deep sea that is capable of bioluminescence. They have organs known as photophores along their bodies, which produce light through a chemical reaction. Just think about these guys as underwater fireflies. Their bioluminescence, along with their large, sensitive tubular eyes that point upward, make them incredibly efficient in searching for food, which includes crustaceans and tiny fish. Number 1. Pelican Eel I'm telling you, the pelican eel is one of the most terrifying creatures in the ocean, and they possess one of the strangest anatomies in the animal kingdom. 
They look like a strange mix of a plant, a serpent, and a bird. Their heads and mouths are incredibly huge compared to their thin whip-like bodies which make them look like horrifying monsters. This fish's most notable feature is its huge pouch-like lower jaw that resembles that of a pelican. The appetite of the pelican eel suits its massive mouth. This voracious eater uses the light at the tip of its tail to lure in prey close to its mouth. Once a fish comes a little bit too close, it will lunge at the poor fish and snap its gigantic mouth shut. This creature can grow between three to six feet, and so their prey is limited to small and middle-sized sea creatures. But if they happen to snag large prey, their stomachs are built to stretch to accommodate bigger food. Because of their huge appetites, they're also known as gulper eels. This creature would scare a lot of people if they lived in shallower waters. Thankfully, these creatures live at depths between 500 and 6,000 feet, so there's no chance that you'll encounter them while swimming in the ocean. These creatures are really terrifying, but with the size and depth of the ocean, it's possible that we haven't even discovered the weirdest creature of them all. Who knows? Perhaps a creature as vicious as the Megalodon exists down there, or even a colossal squid. Now ain't that scary? Before you go, comment on any other deep sea creatures that you know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.